Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be solving a really nice equation. So first of all, feel free to pause the video and try to solve this by yourself. And now let's go ahead and solve it together. So we are given that x squared plus the quantity x over x plus 1 all squared equals 3. And we're supposed to solve for x values. So first of all, notice that we have a sum of two squares on the left hand side. And whenever we have something like this, it's a good idea to complete this square. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say that we have something like a squared plus b squared. We can go ahead and try to complete the square either by adding or subtracting to a b. Because once we do that, we're going to get a perfect square. So if we add to a b, we're going to get a plus b all squared. And if we subtract to a b, we're going to get a minus b all squared. Great. So let's go ahead and use this to complete this square on the left hand side of our equation. And in this case, we're going to subtract an expression and you will see why. So let's go ahead and subtract 2x times x over x plus 1. So if you do that, we're going to get x squared plus x over x plus 1 all squared minus 2x times x over x plus 1. And notice that we need to subtract this from both sides to balance the equation. So on the right hand side, we're going to have 3 minus 2x times x over x plus 1. And now notice that the left hand side is a perfect square. So it is going to be the quantity x minus x over x plus 1 all squared. And the right hand side will be simplified to 3 minus 2 times x squared over x plus 1. Next, let's go ahead and get a common denominator for these two. So we're going to get x plus 1 in the bottom and x squared plus x minus x on the top. And then we can simplify the left hand side into x squared over x plus 1 all squared. And it is equal to 3 minus 2 times x squared over x plus 1. Great. Now you can see that by doing what we did, we got an expression, the same expression, over here and here. So we can go ahead and use the substitution method. So let's go ahead and say that u equals x squared over x plus 1. So by doing this replacement, we're going to get u squared equals 3 minus 2u, which means that u squared plus 2u minus 3 equals 0. Obviously, the left hand side can be written as u minus 1 times u plus 3, which means that u equals 1 or u equals negative 3. Notice that u equals x squared over x plus 1. So that means that x squared over x plus 1 either equals 1 or it is equal to negative 3. Next, let's go ahead and cross and multiply. So we're going to get x squared equals x plus 1 or x squared equals negative 3x minus 3. So from these two, we're going to get two quadratic equations. x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. And x squared plus 3x plus 3 equals 0. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula to solve for these x's. So in the first one, we're going to get x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 5, all divided by 2. And in the second one, we're going to get x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 3, all divided by 2, which means that uh, we have complex solutions in the second one. So x is going to be negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 times i divided by 2. Great. So we have four solutions, two complex solutions, and two real solutions. Great. 
So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this and hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you later. Goodbye for now.